guys, Kashay right here. So I am here in my home office, which has changed a little bit since you last saw it, which is when I was doing some redecorating in here earlier in the summer. Um, I haven't purchased anything new for the space. I've just moved things around. Well, any new furniture, I've just moved things around. So yes, tour will be at the end, but I really wanted to show me setting up the cab, the cubby section. So let me move the camera a little bit so you can see this. So all I did was I took the cubbies and I laid two of them the long way on top of each other. They were initially just kind of standing straight up. So I have the six cube cubbies where it's two on each thing. So when they're standing, it's like two, two, two. When you lay it flat, it's three on three. So I had three cubby shelves. So I put two on top of each other. So now it looks like a four by four <laughs> and with a total of how many is this total what's well, not a four by four that was a lot it was a six by six so six by six and then the other one i did stand up straight just because i don't have enough wall space if i were to lay this one down it would be blocking the entry to the kitchen which is right here so anyway so i just kind of threw the stuff up here and as i've been doing my coaching calls like you can see this area because of how i have my desk and this just looked so messy so i was already kind of starting and moving stuff but i figured why not go ahead and film it for you all so if you are interested in seeing me organize my office area make sure you one like this video so you don't forget and two keep on watching Marshalls this morning and at Marshalls I picked up these acrylic organizers I have a ton of these in my room already I used them for makeup um let me grab this one so you all can see it because this is big and I use these for makeup and I saw on Instagram a couple ladies using these to store planner stuff like stickers and post-it notes so I figured I would go ahead and give it a shot and both of these actually do fit in the cubbies so i grabbed those i grabbed a new diffuser because the one i was using before broke so i grabbed this at marshall's and then the only other new thing is this is this is a new this is my iHome. it just moved from my bedroom i swapped it with my google home which is what you might have seen here before and that's because google home likes to talk when i'm talking so i'll be on a coaching call and Google Home will think I'm talking to it and it'll just start saying stuff. It'll pick up on like the last thing I said and then it'll just start talking. So anyway, so I'm moving things around a little bit just to like move some of the messiness. So I'm gonna like adjust the camera a little bit so you can kind of see the core focus points. Okay, so these six cubbies over here are the core things that you can see on camera. So I'm going to adjust these the most. And then over here, it's just like miscellaneous stuff. You'll see that in the office tour. Okay. So basically, I'm gonna take basically all of this stuff out and then put stuff back in. Some of this stuff, so this, this section and this section will just be the acrylic organizers. And then this is all like all the way coming out. This is just miscellaneous junk anyway. So this is just gonna get put elsewhere and then this area is going to get redone all together so i have to intersect for a second to show you <laughs> current planner stuff storage so this is an old mary kay bag if you know a mary kay lady they used to do a fancy probably had this i didn't sell mary kay i actually got this from somebody who's used to and the inside of it has like organizers and stuff that currently stores my planner stuff that and my little travel bag my i make sunshine bag this has mainly stickers pens a couple of adhesive but mainly looks like little sticker sheets but um now that i have everything organized it like looks kind of empty which is good because i've definitely thrown a lot out and i'm not in a rush to fill stuff up so worst case like this one right here all the way empty worst case I'm gonna just move one of my little, I have like a ton of these pink bins. I'll just move this bin up so when I'm on camera, it doesn't look empty. But I'm not in a hurry to put stuff here, if that makes sense. Like, eh, if it's empty, it's empty. Uh, it's a good sign. So anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill up these organizers and then I'm gonna come and show you what I put in them, okay?
So this like used to be my little dining room area. It's like a little den. It's a little chandelier. Um, but basically I moved the desk and the shelving. So it's like 90% done, but I know if I don't film this now, it's not gonna get filmed. So let's go ahead and do a quick little tour, shall we? Little desk area first, because it's gonna be the quickest. So I have my ring light on just, to, that was just so you guys could see me like actually putting stuff up. But I keep this ring light, normally it's like closer to the wall, but I bring it out when I'm filming or doing live stream stuff. And then I moved a lot of my wall art from my old office home. So you might recognize this Get It Girl and the Amazing Things. Y'all know that those are Marshalls, between Marshalls Ross and TJ Maxx type purchases. I've had these things for so long, I don't remember where they're from. Um, I put a little lamp in here just for when I don't feel like using a chandelier because it is bright, but it's like a yellow light. Um, I took my whiteboard off the easel. This is like a whiteboard I used to have in the office and I have the easel propped up against the wall. This has my goals on it. And then coming into the office, y'all know this desk is from Amazon, the chair is from Amazon. And here, um, I would show you like this face is my living room and the window but my living room is a mess right now. So these are just like printouts from different programs that I'm in. This, you are exactly where you need to be. is like a card stock and then this um whiteboard this was in my old office this came from michael's i don't really use it a ton so it's just like a place for me to put magnets to be honest with you so i just put like affirmation cards and markers and stuff up there and then here is my screen this used to be in the office but i actually switched where the screen i had the monitor i had at home i went took it to the office because it's adjustable it moves up and down and this one doesn't so i brought it home with this little mount just because this didn't match the desk that i had so 
Um, that's my monitor, my little webcam from when I'm doing calls. Um, I actually use a MacBook, but I have my Chromebook up here. This is the computer I use for Google Digital Coaches stuff, and I have a webinar coming up, so I'll just switch those out. Then I have my microphone for podcasting and voiceovers, little coffee cup warmer, of course, Apple devices. I do have a mouse pad, but I moved it and forgot to put it back. So, and then up here is just like miscellaneous post-it notes, little crystals, stapler, um, paper clip. I have some cute post-it notes from Notique. These are really cute. Then like behind here, this like little miscellaneous cup that I'm so attached to. I actually got this from conference. I was a speaker, part of the speaker gift bag. So I keep in here <laughs> random lip gloss, pencil sharpener, camera memory cards, business cards, chapstick, little tech thingy. So this just lives back here for when I need it. And then coming up, you guys have seen these before again. Marshalls, Ross, TJ Maxx, Home Goods. This came from Michaels. Um, then we have my, I have a couple of these, but this is a, a article I was featured in for my conference when I was hosting my conference, Hustle Her Way. Y'all know I did it four years in a row. Most times you get featured in a paper or a magazine, you get the offer to get something like this. And I sometimes say yes, sometimes I say no. I only do it when it's like really important things. So I got that. Then this was gifted to me from a company on Instagram. This was featured in the last video I did. And then these came from the last office again. Marshall's Home Goods, all of that. Okay, so now getting into the cubbies. Per usual, I get the cubbies from Target. I've had these for many, many years um, at the top. And again, I told you that these are the six shelf or the six cube cubbies. That's the correct terminology. Six cube cubbies. And I laid them the long way. Then I stacked two. And I didn't do anything special to keep them that way. I think I just have enough stuff in here where it's not going to, it doesn't shift. It doesn't move. Even when I was taking stuff out, like some of these bins are really heavy. I was taking stuff out like this. The shelf did not move. It didn't wobble. It didn't do anything. So, and it's on carpet. So anyway, so I did from this one. And this one is the six cube that's just standing straight up. I'm not going to go too far down because it's still kind of messy at the bottom too. Because I still have to figure out what to do with this printer paper for planner stuff and this big cutting board that doesn't fit anywhere the laminator that doesn't fit anywhere these might have to go in the closet i don't know but anyway so here at the top i have my wireless printer this is the hp tango and then i have some a candle i switch candles out all the time in here and then at this top we have my iHome. we have a salt rock candle i'm sorry salt rock salt rock lamp Another Bath and Body Works candle um, diffuser. This was a gift from a friend when I graduated with my MBA. Super nice. This is the camera I use for YouTube. And then this is a this was gifted to me at one of my conferences from one of the vendors. Um, they make a ton of custom stuff, so she gifted me this cute little glasses. It's bombshell with tool on the bottom. So this actually holds my um, essential oils because I don't want to drink out of this because of the tool at the bottom. So it's like a cute decorative piece. So it holds my essential oils. Um, okay, so I'm gonna pull up a chair. My poor phone is so high. I've been filming all day. Okay, so up here is a mix of books I bought, workbooks, um, not planners, but you know, like those guided journal style books. Um, I haven't really looked at a lot of the stuff up there, which is why I feel like it's going to get recycled at some point. <laughs> so I'm not going to pull anything out because it's not something that I use regularly. I see my old Kindle up there, my old um, iPad keyboard up there. Um, and then this was, this was a gift uh, from someone from a number of years ago. She hand painted this. And then this is just a whiteboard cleanser. And then what I did for this shelf that was empty, I used it to store my Happy Planner sticker book so that way I wouldn't have to keep using that bag. It's storing that and it's storing some extra inserts from the Office Depot haul that I just filmed. I don't know if it's up yet. If it is, I'll tag it. Storing that and then it's storing like a finance planner. I have a hole punch, a disc hole punch in here that was featured in that video. I have my label maker and then it's Life of a Bombshell. That's my cosmetics brand, branded mug with more dry erase markers. And then here's just like a bunch of binders and paper and stuff. In terms of what's in these bins, cause these bins are like awful. <laughs> uh, it's a mix of actually shipping supplies for affirmation cards and makeup. So it's a lot of marketing material and satin bags and 
envelopes. One is holding like a bunch of samples of stuff. I have a supply bin. It has like glue and post-it notes and pencils and pens. And then I have electronics one. That's the electronics one. That holds all of my cords, computer cords, chargers, um, adapters, just a ton of that stuff. One holds old journals. Um, it's just a lot. <laughs> I need the going through the bins is gonna be its own project, but for now, as long as it's in a bin, to me it's organized, okay? And then up here, I just went ahead and put my personal planner. This is a Notique um agenda cover. It it doesn't have rings or anything in it because it's meant to hold disc bound planners. You all will see this in December. Uh, either in December or January at the latest, because my 2021 planner is going to be this round or well, one of my 2021 planners and then i have my little miscellaneous planner bag this is not going to stay here this typically goes in my backpack that i take to the office i have my notique um cards behind is this cute little jar it says um jar of edification this was part of a conference experience um it has like really nice quotes and stuff in it and then this is just a water bottle that was gifted from a conference but i have so many water bottles that there's not really room for it in the kitchen so anyway so then up here this little gold tray i've had forever post-it notes um business cards it has my google id i keep my google id in here because i don't know when the building is going to open back up so i just go ahead um and just store it in here so anyway let's get to my favorite part okay so here's how i use the acrylic organizer so initially in my mind i'm like, I'm like oh i'm gonna be like <laughs> the girls on instagram use their post-it notes and i actually don't have that many like post-it notes i guess maybe if these were out this would work but um yeah i don't have that many i have like task card well not task cards but those little post-it flags but those are i keep those in the planner so anyway let's get into it so this is like a little round corner punch then i stored some post-its from cloth and paper in here and then i also stored like little divider covers in here so that's what this the rest of this is little divider covers. this next one is um like decorative post-it notes in here some staples flags this is before i really discovered transparent flags online um let's take this stuff out so i can actually show y'all for real these are some little this decorative post-it notes that were in a book, but these are the last two in there, so I just went ahead and took these out. Um, and then I have these little sticky notes that can be inserted in a planner. And then these two pages, these remaining two, these are, I think these are happy planner sets. I can't remember, but they only give you two sheets of each one, so it's honestly not a lot. <laughs> so, okay, let's put this stuff back in here drawer so in here i have all my washi tape and then i have my big stickers these are like my old Erin Condren stickers just honestly they're a bunch of shapes i'm not even gonna waste your time showing you these i don't use them a ton but i mean literally that's what they are they're old Erin Condren stickers but i keep a lot of washi tape in here or all of it and i'm really glad because I always forget that I have washi. This is always in the bottom of my planner bag. So I've, I haven't used any. So you haven't seen any of this stuff in my planner because I forgot that I had it. So you'll be seeing this stuff coming soon. Okay, so then moving on to this one. This little drawer holds all of my little decorative bookmarks and it fits them so perfectly. Now I don't store them in these little bags. These are just like the newer ones that I haven't opened yet that you guys have seen in different hauls. So um, this actually fits these really perfectly. So I'm really excited about that. This one holds extra tweezers. Well, different, not extra, but different different styles of tweezers. Um, the, the, re the replaceable label stuff. That is not what I'm trying to say. So this is the replacement for the label maker, but this is the white paper. This is the one that came with it. Um, I ordered a transparent one separate. That's what's in there right now. So just in case I need it. I keep two Erin Condren pens in here. I think this is a Kate Spade pen. This is Erin Condren. These are bookmarks from Erin Condren. Here we have little index note post-its. 
these are planner specific uh, books, like paper clips, and these are book clips. And then these are stickers, but these are like stickers from shops. So these are different. This is I put these separate from the Erin Condren ones because I just I'm gonna use these at some point. But this is what I really reach for. So some of these, like these also paper ones, I've probably had these for at least two years. But I was so inconsistent with my planner life that I wasn't really using them. So some of them I was using before, like for example, like this is the not this one. There's another one. There's another one of these sheets that's like travel. <laughs> like I use a lot of those. There we go. There she is. Like, I haven't touched this since I've gotten back into planner stuff. I used all of these from, like, before. Um, so, because I still have these, I want to get, you know, you go through them now that I'm using my planner more consistently. So, we have all of these in here. And I do go through a lot of planners now. I'm not a lot of planners, a lot of stickers now. So, anyway, I put the stickers that I reach for the most here. And then we have some capital sheet designs, small books in here as well. And then this one, I can't even open it because I folded this up. These are just like Michael's stickers to fix that. Yeah, this is not going to work. Let me take these out. I should probably just take them out the plastic, huh? But these came from Michael's Recollections theme fitness stickers. I'm going to take that out. And then these are just other Michael's stickers. Okay. And then here, this is the boring drawer. These are just like plain task cards. Y'all know I ordered these in bulk. And then these are adhesive pockets that I got on Amazon. So, yeah, that is that. So thank you all for watching me organize my planner stuff which was honestly the point the point was to organize my planner stuff i wasn't intending to do an office cleanup today at all which is why i didn't fully go through everything but i do hope that you are inspired by this i can't remember if i mentioned it or not but the acrylic organizers came from marshall's the big one was 22 dollars and the mini one was 16 dollars so um let me know in the comments if you have any questions if you want to know where something is from let me know in the comments just be, try to be descriptive because sometimes i might not know what you're talking about and i'm gonna have to ask a question and we're gonna go back and forth for a little bit before you get the answer so <laughs> help me answer your question if you want to know where something is from uh, specifically comment it down below i'll be chatting with you all in the comments have a great day bye